welcome CryptoFam to the Parakeet testnet. There may be a potential airdrop, who knows, let's get started. So as you can see, we are on the Parakeet Twitter page. If we scroll down a little bit, you can see some of their tweets, but we will hop over to the Medium article right away. Uh, before we do that, you can see that Parakeet is a DAO for the cross-chain metaverse, which makes me bullish and you can bridge your NFTs between seven blockchains and also with only three clicks. As you can see here, it's how simple it is and I will show you in a second how simple it really is. What you'll need is some test Ethereum and a test NFT. Just go over to this website, put in your address, log in and you will get your test tokens and test Ethereum. I will also put you some other faucets in the video description to get some more test Ethereum. And after you have done that, we can um, check if there's anything else important at the moment. You can check here how many transactions were made and so on. Follow them on Twitter, follow them on Discord. And let's get over to the test net. So first, when you get on the website, it will look like this. Feel free to turn on dark mode, but this one is actually a pretty, pretty decent light mode. Um, I like it, so I'm going to leave it this time. And yeah, we, if, if you, if you do this the first time, you won't be able to vote because you must have had some tokens in your wallet before the 16th of April, I guess. Here it's the key tokens and for the other proposal, it is the PRKT token. I don't know which one that is, but still we can't vote, but keep that in mind and vote on as many projects as you can. The th uh, second thing are the documents. Just have a read on them. Also uh, in interesting. And the uh, Parkit Bridge, which we are here. Down there you could uh, see the chains which are supported. But yeah, get over to this website, click on Connect Wallet, just connect it with your MetaMask, and then you are set. The first thing we are going to do is search for NFT collection. I only have this one. You may also have or this one too. Then just click on search network. I'm going to say on Rinkabai because as you can see, I've got the optimism. Uh, I've got an optimism and phantom NFT, which I have bridged over before. Um, just don't worry because it took me like five to 15 minutes to appear here as a bridged NFT. Tell me in the comments if it worked with you. So I'm going to click on Rinkabai and choose our NFT I want to bridge. This is the blockchain I want to bridge it to. And let's just say this NFT. I want to bridge it from Rinkabai to, let's say, Mumbai network. So there's a fee of 0.01 ETH. We click on bridge and this will open our MetaMask wallet. Just click on confirm at the bottom. And this will also make you wait a few minutes. This approving will take like one minute. And then there's the bridging process, which will also take one minute. We will see that in the moment. And yeah, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I will just pop up my profile for a second. Um, there will be some giveaway soon. So stay tuned and activate the bell. If there's a bell on Twitter, yes, there is. So you don't, uh, don't miss out on any tweets, on any giveaways, on any retweets I post. But as said, we will just um, confirm this transaction in our MetaMask wallet. As you can see, this transaction is approved. Now it will just bridge over the NFT. Works fast, it's awesome. I haven't found any big bugs yet. And yeah, I love that you can bridge over your NFTs and all these different blockchains. I hope you are also very excited for the future Cardena content, but we'll get to that in another video. As you can see, it's now approved and bridged. Um, you won't see your NFTs uh, right away. As said, it will take about 10, 15 minutes maybe to upload. But this is it for the test set, what you can do. If there's a pot potential airdrop, I'll keep you all updated. If there isn't, we learn something new. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.